my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the entire world in these days lives under the intimidation of the emergence and spread of the uh, respiratory disease coronavirus COVID-19 as a church body we need to pray pray for those infected by the coronavirus in China and around the world for those who care for them for health specialists and authorities who are combating the spread of infection and of course for all who at this time are feeling anxious the need for urgency can be fertile crowd for fearful reactions as we try to go about our daily routines we may even begin to see others through a lens of skepticism judgment and fear one antidote to fear can be information and planning we post some useful information for coronavirus prevention in front of the entrance door please take an early time to read them over or use your phone to capture photos of them and after mass auctions will also hand you a seek of general information if you have a little children please discuss this matter among the family to make sure you and your children know how to protect yourselves last weekend following the guidance of the Cardinal Daniel Di Nardo, we are implementing the sharing of guidelines in liturgical worships for preventing the potential spread of the virus in our church. Each individual needs to be conscious of practicing prevention strategies get more education of best preventing prevention practices and calm your fears pray persistently to seek God's healing for the fallen world these days in the difficult period of potential spread of contagious disease today's gospel gives us significant vision of our future transfiguration the three disciples Peter James and John represent us having experienced the heavenly transfiguration of Jesus Peter said to his master if you wish Lord we will make three tents here Peter and his friends want to build the church on the mountaintop where they are always with their glorified Lord where glory without a cross triumph without suffering and salvation without sacrifice we can identify our same feelings with Peter and his friends to worship God 
in good feelings and wonderful experience in receiving abundant grace and never-ending happiness while ignoring the real world as much as possible. But it's not God's way. God's way is the coming down religion. God may give us moments of glory on the mountain top, but they are not places to stay, but only preparation for life down in the valley. It would be this hurting and scary of the life down in the valley. But Jesus comes over and touches each one of his failed, confused disciples. Get up now, he says. Don't be afraid. Okay, let's get going. Peter and his friends and we now have a vision. We have a vision of Jesus that would sustain us. A vision of our own glorious future that keeps us going through our present trials and temptations. We now carry in with us the mountaintop vision of Christ's transfiguration and ours. The transfigure of Jesus causes us to carry the vision back into our lives. No matter how difficult the struggle gets, through our pain and sufferings, through our frustrations and doubts, through the intimidation of the spread of the contagious disease, we hold to the vision of our future destiny to share in Jesus' glory. Now we must take that vision back with us down the mountain into Monday morning and days and weeks after. There we must see everyone we touch and every stroke, everything we struggle with in the light of this vision of the glory that will be. In the face of Christ on the mountain, we are privileged to see how the glory of God will transfigure us and the whole creation. Amen.